how do you get golf fit from home? There's probably a lot of you watching these videos and being watching them over the last few months thinking, great, I can take them to the gym, really improve my golf and fitness. But if you're in lockdown or in some parts of the UK you can't access a gym, or even in the world you can't access a gym, how can you improve? Well, these three exercises, all you're gonna need is a little bit of space and a golf club. We need to hit up Nat because She's the boss when it comes to this kind of stuff. Let's get her on FaceTime and see what she's got to say. Hi everyone, hope you're all staying safe and well. Thanks for joining us yet again for some more fitness for golf, except this time we're from home. So all you're gonna need to join in with us is your golf club. And don't forget, if you're enjoying all these fitness videos as well as the other great content on this channel, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down at the bottom and don't miss any of these videos every single week. Go and grab your club and let's join in. Cheers, Matt. So what are we doing for exercise number one? Thanks, Alex. Okay, so here is exercise number one. So we spoke a lot on this channel about improving different elements of our golf fitness. We've really hit the mobility, we've hit the stability and we've hit the strength. So now what we've got here is an all-in-one bang for your buck drill that you can do right here in the lounge. When we're back on the golf course, you can do this on the first tee. And this is called a lunge with a chop. And what we're going to do is use the golf club. So I've got my six iron, but you can use any club that you want. So to begin this exercise, what we're going to do is start with a lunge. So from here, I'm going to step forwards and drop down. I'm going to try to not touch this back knee on the floor as best I can. With my club, I'm gonna turn it on a 45 degree angle here, and I'm gonna rotate very slowly in towards this knee and hip, and then I'm gonna chop myself all the way up to the top, extending the arms like this. So it's all the way down and all the way up. That's the movement. But to make this trickier, we're gonna come one at a time into alternate legs. So I'm gonna go one on my left-hand side, and then we're gonna come into the right-hand side. So I'll step forwards again and lunge, 45 degrees with the club, rotate the body in towards the left hip and then all we're going to do is chop this up and hold balance at the top all the way back down i'll step out and then again we repeat on the left hand side so we're chopping down rotating up stepping back and then we go back to that right hand side I really, really like that one. I feel it gets the whole body feeling like it's a little bit active and a little bit more pumped. I love that one. Um, one thing I would probably do with that one for me, I'm definitely gonna include that in my pre-round warm-up when I get back out to playing golf, which I really do hope we are soon. Now, on that note, so we're bringing you some golf fitness. We brought you all sorts, like Nat has said. But what are the things that you want to see on the channel? Smash those comments down below. And if you've not already, by the way, welcome to the channel if it's your first time to the channel. Don't forget to smash that big red subscribe button. Now, what is exercise number two? Thanks, Alex. Okay, so we're on to exercise number two. Now, this is one of my favorite warm-up drills. This is a great exercise, pre-golf, pre-training. Might look a bit strange on the first tee. However, great to have a practice of at home and these are called Spider-Mans. Now, this drill is designed to open out the hip joint, mobilise through the thoracic spine, open up our chest line and shoulders whilst adding an element of rotation. So great exercise, big bang for your buck, brilliant mobility drill. And for this one, we're gonna need to get down on the floor. So, what we're gonna do here is start in press-up position. So I'm gonna take a regular press up stance and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step my foot to the side of my hand here like this. It's really important you try and keep this foot as flat as possible because that really adds a little bit of stretch and opening to the hip joint on this side. Now taking the same hand of this side, I'm gonna rotate like this up to the ceiling as far as I can. I'm gonna look my eye line right up to my fingertips lengthening this arm and then what we're getting is this opening here across the chest line and the shoulder line reaching up as far as you can bringing this hand down we're going to change sides so i'll step into my left again keeping this foot really flat this arm nice and straight i'm going to rotate this arm right the way up to the top again lifting this chest line getting some stretch and opening through here all the way up to the top looking over my shoulder and you're just gonna keep that motion going one to the right and one to the left. 
like this, nice and smooth. If you're finding this a little bit of a struggle, you can always just bend this back knee slightly. You're trying to keep this knee again off the ground because that adds a bit of stretch up here through the hip flexor. We're going to rotate all the way up as far as you can, back down. So if you find that that's a little bit too advanced for now, we can regress this slightly by coming down into this position. So I can bring this knee right down to the floor. I can keep this front foot flat here. I can bring my hands down into the same position and then all I'll do is rotate up to the ceiling like this. So I'll just keep this same smooth motion, trying to achieve this same stretch up here through the upper body. Down and up, nice and easy. Really good one to help improve mobility of the hips, rotation, mobility of the trunk, chest and shoulders. Now, I don't know about you, but that second one there gives you a real good stretch, working on those key areas to help you feel better over the golf ball. Nice stretch, nice feelings. Let's head into the final exercise. Nat, take it away. So here is exercise number three. And this time we're gonna target the core and particularly strengthening the core as we know that we've had loads of questions from you guys asking, how can you get stronger through the core for golf? Well, here is a great drill that you can try at home. And again, going to need your club this time. So if you remember from a couple of weeks ago, we did an exercise called dead bugs, where we were lay on the floor and we were extending different arms and legs, trying to maintain the stability and position of the trunk. And that's exactly what we're going to do this time. But the golf club is going to make this a lot harder. So what you're going to do is come back down to the floor, all the way back. So we're going to lie down. And I want you to lift the legs up so you've got your knees over the hip joints here. And I've got my toes pulled to my face like that, so they're not lazy. So my shins should be roughly parallel to the ceiling. So you can rest your head all the way back and then you're going to take your golf club horizontal like this and just press it into the top of the thigh here, just below the knee joint. And the aim is to keep this golf club completely stable and parallel. So what I mean by that is that it doesn't twist like this to the side of you as you start to make this movement. Now to make this exercise trickier, what you have to do is put a bit of tension and push this club into the thigh. So if you imagine your knees coming this way, the golf clubs going that way, and as the two meet, they create a bit of a cylinder of pressure through the core here where you can really fire up the muscles. So toes up, shins parallel, Push this club in tight into the knee with a little bit of effort. Suck that belly button down tight to the floor. And then from here, I'm just going to drop one heel really slowly to touch. And then I'm going to meet back in the middle. I'm going to take this side off to touch. And I'm going to meet in the middle. And we're just going to alternate sides like this. So every time that I take my leg away, I have to continually press this club into my knees. So from here, if I'm just resting this really lazy, I can't really feel a lot going on. Plus the club's gonna move. So the tricky thing here is maintaining your position, allowing this leg to drop down whilst you're pushing the club into the knee and meeting back in the middle like this. Because if I do this without any control, the club starts to move. And the aim of the game is to keep this club completely horizontal here and fire up the core muscles. So if you're doing this one correctly, you should really feel the tension through the core and feel the burn. I have done like six reps there and I can really feel this. Just wanna say thank you so much for joining us today on Fitness For Your Golf on a Tuesday. There you go, three exercises to definitely have a go with at home. And if you do have a go with them and you feel like they're improving your golf swing, do let us know. We've had so many people saying, Alex, this has really helped. I should say Alex, uh, nah, <laughs> this has really helped. So join in those comments. We're here to build a big community of golfers that really want to improve their golf. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more content.